Hi, this is Nathan Lennon with WCI Consulting, and today I'm going to be going over the differences of connecting to a Microsoft SQL Server using Tableau 8.1 and 8.2. Right now I'm in Tableau 8.1, just going to click on Connect to Data, and you'll see here it gives me all of the choices of databases or servers I can connect to. I'm going to choose the Microsoft SQL Server, but let me add that, you know, if you're used to using MySQL, or Oracle, it's pretty much going to be about the same as the Microsoft SQL Server login. So I clicked on that, and it's going to give me a choice when I click on this down arrow of uh, servers to connect to. I'm going to choose that one. And I'm going to click on use specific username and password. Enter that in. Then I'm going to click on connect. And here on this drop down, it's going to give me a choice of databases that I want to connect to. Uh, in this particular case, I'm going to choose eFashion. And here you'll see it gives you a choice of single table, multiple table, custom SQL, or procedures. So today we're going to do a multiple table uh, and join two tables to create our worksheet. So I'm going to click on multiple table, add table, add table. And then I'm going to click on the second table that I want, click OK, and you'll see that it's joined here. I'm going to highlight that with my mouse, go into Edit, and choose Join. And here you'll see that it's joined improperly. I don't want to join the table on Ag1 ID and Line. So I'm going to highlight this Join in the Join Clause, click on Delete. I'm going to keep Ag1 ID. And for the sake of this example, I'm going to choose Ag2 ID for the join for the two tables. Click Add. Click OK. Now I'm, just, I'm done. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to click OK. And here it's going to give me three choices. I can connect live to the database, which means every time the data is updated in my database, it will be updated on my report or my worksheet. Um, here I can import all data which means every single piece of data that's in the database will go into the worksheet, or I can import some data. Uh, when I click on this, it'll allow me to, I can filter down by city, or I can do the top 200 rows or the last 200 rows. It allows you to just choose the amount of data that's, that's brought into the report. Today, I'm just going to connect live. So I'm going to click on that, and you'll see both my tables here in dimensions, that's my first table there, my second table there, and both tables are in the measures. So there's my first table and there's my second table. So if I want to build the worksheet, I can choose city and double clicking on that will bring a blue pill over into rows automatically. And then you'll see if I double click here on margin, it will bring it here into the marks box and it'll give me a number of values over in the report. If I take it out and left click and drag over to columns, it creates a bar chart. So now that I've done the connection for 8.1, I'm going to show you the difference between it and 8.2. So here I am at 8.2. Looks pretty similar to 8.1. It's got a few enhancements. I'm going to click on connect to data. You'll see there's really no difference here. It gives you the same options of servers to connect to. Click on the Microsoft SQL Server, and then enter in the server alias that I want to use today. Now I'm going to click on use the specified username and password. Enter that in. Click on connect. And then here you'll see where it gives me my uh, database options. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit more user friendly. I kind of like it a little better. I'm going to choose eFashion again. And then you'll see my list of tables here. I'm going to choose that same first table. And I double click on it, and it will see it automatically puts the pill for the table in the, uh, this workspace. And I'll choose my second table again by double clicking on it. And it automatically populates it, as well as automatically puts a the uh, join in. And here you'll see I can do the inner join, left join, right, or outer, same as 8.1. This is also where I change 
how the tables are joined. So I'll click on this down arrow that, that pops up and choose Ag1 ID again and choose Ag2 ID for that join. And one of the cool features about 8.2 is say I don't want this, I can just take it out and if I join, if I want two tables to be joined that doesn't automatically know how it should be joined, but I do, then for the sake of this example, I can join the first table on city and go in here and say promotion cost. If that's how these two tables need to be joined, I can do it that way. But for the sake of this example, I'm just going to stick with these two tables and join them the proper way. Go back to Ag2 ID, and that's all good. I'm going to leave it on an inner join, so I'm done there. With 8.1, you saw when you uh, created the worksheet, it gave you the, the choice to go live or extract the data. Here you'll see you have the connection up here. You can go live or extract data, and here's where you go in to edit it, to choose the top 200 rows or to just filter on city. Etc. Today I'm going to do live data, and then over here is where, on the bottom left, is where if you want to do SQL, you can do your uh, custom SQL here. Also, if you want to preview the data, it does it right there. You can preview all the data. Uh, if you want to say you you want to hide store name, you can click on the down arrow, rename it here, or hide. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm just going to go to the worksheet. And again, you'll see table one, table two in dimensions, table one, table two in measure, and I'll build it out the same way by double clicking on city, double clicking on margin. You can see it has the chart there, and I'll bring the green pill over to columns to make my bar chart. So in conclusion, that's pretty much the, the, con the connection differences between 8.1 and 8.2.